So the six basic things that you need before you start grooming your horse is a curry comb. Now what a curry comb does is it gets all of the unwanted dirt and dead hair out from under the coat. The next thing is you're going to want a hard or medium brush. I use medium brushes because my horse is sensitive. The next thing is you want a soft brush to get all of the fine dust particles and other hair that you weren't able to get with the hard or medium brush off. So the next thing I have is a small face brush. We'll be able to brush their face off easily. A hairbrush. I don't normally brush my horse's hair all the time, but if it's tangled, we will brush it. See a hoof pick. They are very important to clean out the hooves and make sure there's nothing in them. Let's get started. Alright, after you have tied your horse up to a safe location, what you're going to do next is take their blanket off if you do blanket your horse. So that's what we're going to do right now. You get your little grooming tote and the first thing we are going to use is the curry comb. You're going to use it in a circular motion going from the neck back to his rump like I'm doing here. Circular motions on the fleshy parts of his body. You want to make sure where you're going to put your girth is cleaned off really well too. And along with the curry comb, you don't want to use it on his legs because it is kind of a rough, hard, rubber type of tool and you don't want to scrape their legs and make them uncomfortable. And the next thing we are going to use is the medium brush and we're going to do the same thing like we did with the curry comb, only we're going to brush in the direction of the hair and you want to make long stroking motions. Don't be afraid to put some elbow grease into it because you want to be able to flick all that dirt and everything off of it so you want to kind of have a flicking motion with your wrist as you are brushing. So that's really important. The long strokes and the flicking of the wrist. When I'm on the other side I'm going to talk about some safety with the horses. You always want to make sure that the horse knows where you are at all times. Horses cannot see directly in front of them or directly behind them so you don't want to stand behind them directly or especially with a horse that you don't know. You want to make sure that they know where you are at all times and don't in fast motions around the horse because they are a fight or flight animal and they might decide to kick you. Alright, the next thing we're going to use is the soft brush. Like we did with the medium brush, we're going to take it from the top of his neck and then we're going to work our way to his rump again in long stroking motions with flicking of the wrist. Okay, now we're moving on to the face brush. And what we're gonna do here, we are gonna unhook our horse from what you have him tied to. And then you're gonna take the halter off and put it around his neck so he can't really get away from you. Make sure you're in an enclosed area or you at least trust your horse enough to where he won't run off, but I know Manny won't run off. So you're just going to gently brush around their face and around their eyes to get all that dirt and stuff off. And Manny's ticklish on his nose so he doesn't like that. So you want to make sure you get their jaw and under their jaw pretty clean. And once you're done with the face you're going to just put the halter back on. And I'm using a rope halter. I can make a video on how to use a rope halter if you guys are interested. Alright, so now we're going to move on to one of the more dangerous things, I would say, for beginner horse owners is picking of the hooves. If you do this correctly, it's not really that dangerous, but you want to make sure that you don't get hurt doing this because you are messing with their feet. 
And how you pick up a horse's foot, you just run your hand down their shoulder and down their leg and apply some pressure on their cannon bone. And if he doesn't do that, I just grabbed his um, fetlock. Yeah. And you want to stand close to your horse, so if he does kick out at you or strike out, he won't be able to reach you. And what you're going to do is you're going to clean out around the frog. The frog is the triangular shape thing in the middle that you can see there. You're also going to want to clean out the hoof around it, so you just get all the dirt and everything. And then after you're done picking it, you can also brush it with the little brush. And the same thing with the back hooves, you're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the front hooves. And um, when you're doing the back hooves, you want to make sure that you stand close to them. Well, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. This was requested. If you have any other requests for videos, you can just go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will get to it filming them. Subscribe for more awesome tutorials and other cool horsey things and I will see you guys in my next video.